from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Okay, we are tracking a system that's arriving the very first part of it today with clouds and gusty winds. So 10 to 15 mile per hour wind this morning. By the middle part of the day, 20 mile per hour sustained winds and gust this afternoon, 30 to 35. Tomorrow, after the system leaves, flat out windy weather. 25 to near 50 mile per hour wind. We're going to have a wind advisory tomorrow. We'll have a red flag warning. The fire weather watches are already posted. Saturday, it's a north breeze, kind of low. And then Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, we're right back to gusty south winds. Uh, so 50s this morning, 61 at noon, 3 to 4 o'clock, mid to upper 60s. And notice on the timeline here, I do have a probability this afternoon and early evening for a couple of spotty showers or storms. Uh, again, not every single location will see this. A lot of us will be dry, but we do have at least a probability for that. Here's that big storm system we're tracking. It still has not made a lot of eastward movement, but it's getting ready to do so. And uh, that's one of the reasons why that our winds are really cranking up today. Now, here's our severe weather risk assessment for this afternoon and late tonight. We're at the very low end, and it's basically area-wide. So even though it's not a high probability for severe storms, I do want to stress that it's not zero either. And then early tomorrow morning, a couple of storms could be strong to severe near. But notice again, we think around Highway 69 eastward, that is where there would be a better opportunity for a few strong to severe storms. So probabilities for showers and storms today, this afternoon, tonight. Tulsa, we're still considered in that slight category. Little better chance late this afternoon, early evening, right in through here, south central, southeastern Oklahoma. Tomorrow morning, again, from Tulsa to the south and east. And again, these would be scattered storms, not a broad area of rain. Unfortunately, those areas north, northwest of Tulsa, it looks like you're going to miss out. Higher probability, the more likely category, again, is in the far southeastern part of the state. The timeline, we've not changed too much of this. Uh, so probability this afternoon, tonight, early tomorrow morning, flares up and then quickly goes away. And behind it, we have uh, basically red flag warnings that we think that will be underway for tomorrow near into the west of the area with strong winds out of the west southwest, very low humidity, and the fire danger is going to be a concern tomorrow afternoon. Right now, we're in the mid and upper 50s. Dew points are low in the 40s, but that will change. Here's the future view again. I showed you this a couple of minutes ago. We'll do it again. Highs today in the 60s. Notice right in through here, later this evening, a couple of spotty showers and storms. These are not anticipated to be overly strong or severe, but we can't rule out one or two that might produce a little bit of hail. That would move away early tomorrow morning. Not everybody will see these. We can have a couple of scattered showers and storms near us. Morning lows in the 60s, and then we'll watch right in through here. This is going to be the higher probability around 10, 11 to noon. That will move out back behind it. Strong winds, high temperatures tomorrow, upper 70s and lower 80s. Extremely low humidity tomorrow afternoon, and the fire spread rate is extremely high. The weekend looks pretty good to me. 60s on Saturday, 70 Sunday. Southern Oklahoma Sunday, and there's a system in Texas that might provide a shower in the southern part of the state. Monday, 85, and then Tuesday, another system once again, I think Tulsa's right on the western edge of it. So in other words, the far eastern areas could have a storm that could be severe.